The winner of my 2021 wall panel comparison series has just been upgraded. This is the brand new Mito Red Light Mito Pro 1500 Plus. The Plus makes this the new and improved version. So what's new and how does it compare to some other new panels in the market today? Now I just need to mention I am affiliated with this company. That means if you use the discount code or discount link down below, you save, but I get a commission. Okay, so with the new Pro Plus line, you have three panels, the 300, the 750, and the 1500, which I have behind me. This is 42 inches tall, about 10 inches across, and three inches deep. This means it's exactly the same size as the non-plus version, which has now been discontinued, I should add. But if you head over to the Mito Red Light website, you'll see that there's now an XL Pro Plus range. This includes the Mito Mega Plus, the Mito Elite Plus, and the Mito Ultimate Plus. These are huge all-in-one body panels. I'm yet to test one of these, but if you are in the market for one of these panels, I recommend watching this video anyway, because a lot of the features and comments that apply to this 1500 panel are also going to apply to those larger ones. So as I mentioned before, the Mito Pro 1500 came out number one against, I think it was 12 panels a few years ago. So we know it is a really good panel. So what's improved here with the Plus? Well, first up, we have this remote. Not necessarily a game changer. A lot of other companies have been shipping remotes for some time now. It is a nice remote. You've got on off uh, some controls to change the time and what wavelengths are being emitted. Plus the buttons are quite nice and tactile and it is nice to use. It also now comes packed with these hanging straps instead of the pulley system. Not too sure why they've changed here. Uh, the pulley system did work well. At the moment, I just have it hanging direct from a hook on the wall, so I don't need these. And finally, we have a small price increase. It's gone up $20, which to be honest, isn't that bad because we've seen some massive price jumps from other companies. So, so far, there's not a lot of new things to report on. What I'm gonna do now is get my devices out. We're gonna test the radiance and I'm gonna see if anything's changed with the power output, the wavelengths, EMF, and all those other things. Okay, so the Mito Pro 1500 has 300 LEDs, and as you can see here, they have peak wavelengths, or at least marketed peak wavelengths of 630, 660, 830, and 850 nanometer light, with an even split between each wavelength, which is pretty cool. Uh, then you also see this SBO spectral range. What this is saying is you're going to get light from 590 through to 700, 780 through to 900. So what I'm going to do now with my spectrometer is see if this is true or not. Okay, so I just taken a snapshot there. Let us have a look. So firstly, we see the peak at 630, which is great. We see the second peak at 660, also great. And we're down here in the near infrared. We're at 833, 834, so pretty much 830, so that's pretty good. And then finally 855. So that's all within, typically I say within five or six nanometers is, is, is great. Now, what about the spectral range? So they claim 590 to 700. So let's see where 590 is. 590 is down here. So yeah, it does start at 590. And then 700 is down here. And then it was 780 through to 900 for the near infrared light range. So yes, that is true. You are getting light from, you know, your 590 right through. However, as you can see in the graph, you're getting not a lot of light down here. I mean, if it was me coming up with these numbers, I would say if this is 20% here. So I would say maybe... 610 through to 675 is where you're getting a, a decent amount of light. The drop off is quite significant. And then 805 through to maybe 875. So typically we don't see companies uh, using these ranges. Uh, I've always said they should because it is true. Uh, these peaks are simply that, as you can see, peaks. But overall, but overall, the numbers I'm testing are what's on the box. So that is always a good sign. Okay, so what about power output? Now, Mito Red have a claim number of 170 milliwatts over centimeter squared at six inches. This is taken with a solar meter, which are typically not the best meters to use for red light therapy devices. And we often see, well, we do see much higher numbers. But the cool thing is, Mito Red also have a fluence number, which was lab tested. This figure was 3.4 joules over centimeter squared per minute. Now using some simple math, this comes out to be about 57 milliwatts over centimeter squared, much lower than the claimed 170, but still they are sharing this data, which is 
you got to give them credit for that. As for my numbers, I had a peak of 87 milliwatts and an average of 76.5 milliwatts. Now, a few things to note here, 76.5 is lower than the claimed 170, though I wasn't surprised by that, but it's actually higher than the lab testing figure of 56. So that is quite neat. It also means you're getting a total output figure of 136 watts. Now, what do all of these numbers mean? Well, firstly, that's using the same internals as the original Mito Pro. The numbers line up very, very closely. So there's no internal changes on that front. Secondly, when we go over to the Light Therapy Insiders website and we click on deals and then shopping tool, what we can do here is filter the data by wall panel and we can see how the new panel ranks from an irradiance output. So we're going to sort it by peak irradiance. And here we have the Mito Pro 1500 plus in seventh place, 76.5 milliwatts. Really, really good. Uh, as you can see, it is pretty much, or it is the same as the previous generation with the top panel being 86. So it's it's packing a lot of power out of 34 panels. It's coming in seventh. If we sort it by total power, we can see it comes in at 10th place. Now the EMF numbers were great and the sound came out to be 52 decibels. All right, what about price? Well, it retails now for 1,169 US dollars, which is $20 more than the previous version that was out two years ago. Remember that came out as the number one panel for 2021. So a small $20 increase isn't too bad. If you use discount code Alex, you're gonna save 5%. And that's going to bring the price down to $1,110. Shipping in America is free. However, you'll have to pay shipping if you live outside of America. I put in an address in Australia and it came out to be $340 US dollars, which is quite expensive. I do need to note that it, this included duties and taxes though. So you're not going to be stung when it comes into the border. Something to keep in mind because some other companies will quote you a shipping figure and then when it arrives into the country you're paying local taxes as well. Now if we factor the power figures with the price we can get a value calculation of $8.14. Anything under 10 is really really good. This puts the Mito Pro 1500 Plus at 7th place I believe in my shopping tool so again that's really good out of 34 wall panels that I've tested. Gosh, I've tested a lot of wall panels, haven't I? 34 of them. Speaking of testing and reviews, be sure to scroll down and hit the like button. I do appreciate all the help and this feedback and support you guys give me, but also hit the subscribe button because I've got a lot more reviews coming out and there's some exciting new Relight Therapy products to hit the market. So you want to hit the subscribe button to be notified of those videos. All right, let's get back into the review. All right, what about stands? Well, there is a vertical or horizontal stand that you can buy for $349 or a wheeled floor vertical stand for about $140. And I should mention there's a three year warranty, 60 day return period with no restocking fees, which is double thumbs up. All right, now for my pros and cons. First up, I, I do like this remote. It's funny, remotes are starting to grow on me. Not literally, that would be a little bit scary, uh, but I'm finding them more and more appealing. And I think part of the reason is because they are becoming nicer to use. Saying that even the Biomax remote just has a simple on and off button. And I like that as well. I like that you're buying from a tried and tested, well-established real light therapy company. They've been around for five years, maybe longer now. If you go on their website, you'll see the wide range of products, not just panels, but they sell an assortment of red light therapy devices. Also, they're well known for their great customer care and support. So these are all great things to consider, especially when you consider that this is the newer version, even though really it only comes with a remote of a panel that was exceptionally good in 2021. The 60 day return period, plus the great customer service they're known for, plus the no restocking fees, does make this panel a very attractive option. You're getting great power output and you're getting it across four different wavelengths, plus you're getting a nice blend between those wavelengths. If you want to tap into your 630s or your 830s, for instance, you're going to get it with the Mito Pro 1500 plus it's modular capable and there are some good stand options out there i actually like the look of that floor stand especially at 140 dollars finally it is still coming in at a good price 1110 dollars after using that discount code anything around the thousand dollar mark i think in 2023 2024 is really competitive especially for a 300 led multi-wavelength high powered panel now as for what i don't like well there are a few things yes overall it is a really good panel and it ticks a lot of boxes but there are a few features that are missing, especially when we compare it to other panels that are available here in 2023, 2024. For instance, the control panel is a little bit basic. There's no touchscreen, there's no dimming ability, there's no pulsing. You get an older style screen. It works and the remote does make it even more user-friendly. 
but still it is lacking. Secondly, you don't get that 810. Now it's not a deal breaker, but there is a lot of promise behind 810. It's something that I personally like and I'm trying to incorporate more of it into my red light therapy sessions. You can read more about 810 nanometers and why I like it in the blog article listed below. I guess another disappointment is the fact that the new plus model hasn't really changed. I mean, it's been two or three years since the original Mito Pro 1500 came out and this new version is pretty much the same with a remote control and you're paying $20 extra for that remote control. Well, actually the other change is it comes with those hanging straps, but I actually think that's a downside because the pulley works really well if you needed to adjust the height. The hanging straps are rather limited. So some may be disappointed. However, remember Mito Red Light also have their new adapt range and word is they're working on a new generation of panels as well. When that comes out, who knows, but be sure to hit the subscribe button because I'll be sharing any news on that as soon as I get wind of it. Another thing I need to mention is the confusing power irradiance figures. If you go to the Mito Red website, they have their solar meter reading at 170, then they have their fluence reading, but they don't really match up. And then my numbers come in between that. So if you are trying to do your own dosing calculations, it's a little bit confusing. This isn't an issue exclusive to Mito Red. We're actually seeing it with a lot of companies, but something I thought I'd mention. Finally, we have the high international shipping costs. Now I put in an Australian address and the shipping quote was gonna be $342. But when I looked at it closer, I saw that the actual shipping rate was only about $100. $240 were added on for duties and taxes. So even if the shipping was free, you'd still be paying that $240 when it comes into the country. Still though, a few people may be put off because of the higher costs. Now I do need to mention that a lot has changed since my 2021 comparison series. I've learned more about red light therapy, I've learned more about how the light works, there's new features, there's new technology on the market and that's why my recommendations are always changing. So that leads me to this, probably one of the biggest downsides that I'd have with this panel is its width. Now I do need to give credit to Mito Red Light for the height, it is rather tall 42 inches and it's something I forgot to mention in the pro section but it is narrow so if you've seen my videos on light coverage pretty much you need to be in front of an LED if you want to get a decent amount of light into that area with a panel like this it creates problems do you either stand in front of it in one half of the body and then move to the other half which is actually something that I've done for many years before I had multiple panels or do you get two panels and have them side by side. Of course, that requires more money and potentially a stand. The downside with that though, is you're still only getting a 12 inch wide panel set up and you may not get total shoulder to shoulder coverage if you are a wider person. Now it's not a limitation or a deal breaker because remember there are ways around it. You just buy two or you move. But this review is more focused on someone who's just looking at buying one panel. In which case, I actually personally prefer the wider panels. I'm not saying that this isn't gonna work, it's just something to think about. Now, the cool thing is there are plenty of other options here. Yes, you can go out and buy this and just deal with it and adapt and maybe get another one in the future. Or you could spend a little bit more money and get one of Mito Red's Mito Pro Plus XL panels. These are a lot wider and yes, they are a lot more expensive and they're gonna be a bit more work in terms of setting up and freighting and all that because they are an all-in-one panel but it is something to think about. Now, if you don't want to do that, you could look at some other panels that are just wider to begin with, but still come in at 300 LEDs. The Biomax 900, for instance, that is 12 inches wide. Light Path LED, their Shorty XL is 15 inches wide. Or if you want to go up to a larger panel, say, look at the Mito Light, which is the European company. Mito Light, Mito Hacker, that is 400 LEDs and is 16 inches wide. It just depends on what you want to do, what you want to get from your panel, what your budget is. Do you plan on buying more panels later on? Do you already have a panel? How much space do you have in your room? There's lots of variables. Overall though, this is a great panel at a really good price and has a lot of great features. But just remember, there are a lot of options out there and it's best to do a lot of research before spending a lot of money on one of these panels. Speaking of research, check out this video here. It is my red light therapy body panel roundup video. I look at 11 different panels, including this particular one, and I go through all the pros and cons. Watch that before buying, as you may find something that's better suited for you.